Welcome back. In the previous section, we looked at creating user accounts. We created user accounts, but we landed into an error where the user couldn't connect to the database. This leads us to this section, user authorization, still under user security. For example, you are able to make posts on all these social media platforms, but you cannot delete a post that doesn't belong to you. You can't delete somebody's post. You have some rights to maybe hide it from your timeline or you may decide to unfollow someone, but you don't have a right to delete a user account belonging to another person. You see, we are using the same application, same database, but we are having different rights. That is called user authorization. When we talk about the authorization, we mean the rights that could be given to a user account. So in this section, we are going to look at how do we give rights. Rights are called privileges in Oracle. So we are going to look at what are those privileges that are given to a user account? How are they given to a user account? And how are they even taken away from a user account? In Oracle, we use the grant keyword when we want to give some rights or privileges to a user account. And we use revoke when you want to take away the rights from a user account. We have different types of privileges we can give to a user account. We have the object privileges, we have the system privileges, and the role privileges. Object privileges allow access and use of objects belonging to other users. For example, we created a user called Abraham. Abraham doesn't have any object for now. He doesn't have any table he can access. But we can give Abraham a right to access objects belonging to another user, maybe HR. HR has some tables. HR has his own tables. Abraham doesn't have tables. But we are all users. So what we can do, we can give Abraham a right to access and use objects belonging to HR. We are going to see that in action. Whenever we allow users to access objects belonging to other users, we are extending them what we call object privileges. And some of these privileges include the update, the delete, the insert. Those are privileges that could be given to a user. If at all we are going to work with a table object, we can allow Abraham to update a table belonging to another user. We can allow Abraham to insert data into a table belonging to another user. We can give a right to the grantee to extend the same privileges to other users. Let's use the same example of Abraham. We have Abraham and we have HR. Remember, Abraham doesn't have any object, but HR has. So what we do, we can decide to give Abraham a right to access the objects belonging to HR. But again, we can give Abraham a right to also give the same right to other people to access objects belonging to HR. How do we do that? We use what we call the with grant option keyword when we are granting these privileges. Let's see this in action. This is Abraham. He doesn't have any object. He's lacking what we call the create session privilege. Having reached a level of trying to sort this, but to continue with our work, let me first grant him the right to connect. I have to be an administrator to do that. So to give him the right to connect or to give him that privilege, we use the connect. You don't need to worry for now, but just know that by granting connect to Abraham, we are giving him a create session privilege. The grant has been a success. Now Abraham can connect to the database. So we can see that now Abraham can connect to the database. When you try to search for any information in Abraham's table, he doesn't have anything. When you say select stuff from tab, there is nothing. We want to give Abraham a right to access objects belonging to HR. Let's see HR. HR has 23 tables. So we want to give a right to Abraham to access some of these tables that belong to the HR account. Specifically, we are going to give him a right to access the regions table that belong to HR. We want Abraham to use this table, regions table, maybe to, to only view and update records in that table. Only that. That is what we want to do. So let's say this in action. We need to connect as administrators for us to be able to give a right to Abraham to access the object belonging to this man called HR. So once we are connected as administrators, now we can give him a right and say grant. We can just say grant select and an update on the HR. HR, we are putting HR dot to recognize the owner of the table. The owner of the table is HR. So it's a HR dot, the owner of the table dot, then the object we want to give Abraham 
a right to access. So hr.regions to Abraham. When you run this, the one statement has been a success. So we say grant select update on hr.regions to Abraham. Now I Abraham can access this table. Let us add him more privileges. He can also select from the employees table. So granting select on hr.employees to Abraham. Again, it is a success. Then we also need him to do anything he wants to do on the student table that belongs to HR. And when we say grant all, we mean give him all the rights. The select, he can update, he can delete, he can do anything he wants to do. So when we say grant all, it means we are granting him a right to perform anything he wants to do with that. So the grant is now a success. So when we connect back to Abraham, uh, let's see whether Abraham can do anything has a right to select from the regions table remember he was given that right so we can say select star from hr.regions even if he has a right to access this table it doesn't make it his own table still have to recognize the own of the table hr.regions so you can see that abraham can select anything from the table but if he tries to get any data from a table he wasn't given access to he will be into trouble. The department's table, he cannot access it. Even if it is part of the tables in the HR account, he cannot access it because he wasn't given a right to access that table. But he can do anything he wants to do with the tables he was given access to. So if he, he can update, because they told him he can update, he can update, so you can see that he can now. Remember we said we could give rights to Abraham and Abraham and also Abraham can extend them to another person. This is how we do it. You can connect as administrator. We have a table in HR called people or program. We want Abraham to we want to give Abraham a right to access this table as well as extending the same right to other people. Grant all on hr.people to Abraham. We we use the keyword with grant option. So the moment we say with grant option it means Abraham can extend the same right to another person. Let us try to see that. Let's connect as Abraham. And Abraham tries to give the same right to Elias. Do that. But when he tries to give the same right to a table, remember he has access to select on hr.regions. You remember he had that right. He can select from the regions, but he wasn't given a right to extend the same rights to other people. So when he tried that, they say insufficient privilege. You don't have a right to extend the same privileges on this table because the only privilege they gave you were to allow you to use the table, not to extend the same right to other people. In case of a revoke, all users lose the rights with the object privileges. In case of a revoke, in the moment we give rights to abraham to extend the same rights to other users if we revoke the rights from abraham even other users whom he has given the same rights will be affected we come back to this abraham gave a right to Elias to access the table it was a success Elias can actually do anything with the people with the people table in the hr schema let's connect Elias and we see I have changed his password here, Elias. Let me grant him a right to connect. So Elias can connect now. So when Elias connects, Elias can select anything from this people table. There was nothing in this table. We don't have any data in this table. We have proved that Elias can indeed access this table. But the moment we revoke this right from Abraham, of, of accessing the hr.people table, even areas will be affected. Let's try to see. Let us connect as administrators. Revoke all on hr.people from, from Abraham. But when we revoke, Abraham cannot access this table and neither can areas. So when we connect back as areas, tries to select from the same table, you can see that the table is no longer available for areas. Let us connect as Abraham to see if he can have the same access. Even Abraham cannot access the same table. So that is what we mean by 